Hey there, Craig Hewitt. Uh, welcome to the channel, right? This is my first video on the new YouTube channel here. The goal here really is I have a couple of places I publish a lot of content, right? First of all is Rogue Startups, a podcast I do with Dave Rodenbaugh. We've been doing that about 280 episodes and along we've, we've talked about tons of stuff, followed my journey from corporate life to quitting my job, living in Europe for five years, living back in the States now. Who knows what will happen next there? <laughs> Definitely something else. Um, but, but along the way, also going from nothing, right? No no business at all and just to being a entrepreneur, admittedly, uh, to starting Podcast Motor, growing that, acquiring the Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin, starting Castos, raising some money, uh, having a, a, an awesome team, right? And, and doing kind of millions of dollars a year. If you want to hear all of that, we have 280 episodes of the podcast you can go listen to. I also write on my blog, craighewitt.me. And that's great because I, I find writing to be really almost therapeutic. Uh, I don't know what cathartic means, uh, truth be told, right? But but I, I find it to be therapeutic because I have to sit back and reflect on kind of what I'm thinking, what I've learned recently, and kind of how I feel about things. And then I send a newsletter. Uh, I try to do it every week, but but I certainly don't. It's called Founder Insights. Uh, so again, craighewitt.me slash join to sign up for it. And, and that's really like almost real time what I'm learning in the business right now. And that's cool because it's going to be an evolution, right? So right now I'm kind of uh, individual contributor for about half my time and manager for about half my time. But the, the goal of this is kind of to riff on a lot of those same topics, right? Because it's easy to, uh, to, to kind of pretty something up for a blog post or for a video. Uh, you'll find that the, the podcast is really raw, right? Dave and I talk a lot about really intimate. We use the word intimate a lot, but in podcasting, but really sensitive and personal things. And my, my podcast, I had a podcast with Andy Baldacci for about two years called Seeking Scale. And we did the same thing, right? We talked a little more kind of meta level about business, but in there, you know, we got really, we got really specific uh, with, with kind of how we feel about the business. And those are like real time conversations, right? We edit it and everything, of course. But um, if you think about podcasting being really raw, email and a newsletter being uh, pretty polished, right? And cleaned up and, and sanitized almost, I would say. And that, that's, that's not unfair to, to me or to most um, kind of written creators. But video arguably is like the highest fidelity form of, of communication, right? So I am here speaking, staring at my camera. <laughs> and first of all, super intimidating. Anyone who hasn't done a YouTube channel or created this kind of content, it, it freaks me out every time, but I'm trying to push that past that. And I think that's a big part of it is right. I've grown as a creator from being terrified to podcast to a thousand podcast episodes I've done over the course of my life now. Started a newsletter, growing a company, raise some money, but still terrified to turn the, the camera on and, and speak for a video. So this is a bit me trying to get over uh, that fear. And what I really want to share is, is just kind of how I'm feeling about business, what I'm learning, uh, and kind of do that a bit in real time, right? So it is a bit like my Founder Insights newsletter, but want to give the video version of it, I guess. That's what you can expect. And so I think everybody's like, oh, what other YouTube channel? What is this? I, you know, why should I care? And I think if you want to learn from someone who's growing from early seven figures to mid to eight figures. That's who I am. And that's what you're going to get here. Mostly bootstrap. We've raised some money, but but we're operating kind of as a bootstrap company now. We're, we're profitable and, and we're growing. And to be honest, I don't know what the end game of this journey is, right? Um, everyone has a dream of selling the business and, you know, retiring in Greece on a sailboat or something like that. And I know that's not me, right? I think that um, you you can see very clearly people who retire early have a lot of problems, right? They, they have like some mental health problems. They have some physical problems. Uh, mortality increases and um i've seen that personally right so like i don't i don't want that to happen to me i plan on working forever right and so i think just really generally where i am it's like okay i have a, a stable successful growing business in a stable <laughs> successful uh immature industry podcasting how do i take that and, and go to the next level right whether that's growing castos to the next level taking myself out of the business maybe and and doing something else like i think that's a perfectly reasonable thing um you know you have to make sure that the business is stable and growing. Um, we have investors, so I have a responsibility to them as well. To be t truthful, I, I don't know. I don't know what that next journey looks like. Right now, um, my role is is heading up both marketing. Um, I would consider myself a marketing manager. We have a, a couple of uh, contractors and consultants and freelancers that we work with there. We're amazing and implement a lot of the actual work that we do. And I'm I'm the salesperson for the company, right? So I'm selling our Castos production services. So if you're watching this and you have a podcast and you're like, God, the last thing I want to do is do any kind of editing and production work and write my own show notes anymore. Give me a call. Uh, we'd love to help you out. Uh, we do video for YouTube as well and shorts and then selling uh, private podcasting solutions to, to companies, right? So big companies who want to do podcasting internally as a form of internal communications. 
uh, we helped them out with that. So this is a bit of a long-winded way of saying hello, but uh, I, I did you know want to flip the camera on, uh, overcome some of my fears, to, to be honest, uh, and record this, and, and I'm going to be around on a regular basis here on the channel uh, to share what I'm learning and hopefully help help you all because I've gotten an enormous amount of help from from the industry and from people who, who have shared you know what they're learning as as they're growing and I think we all have and I think we we don't think often enough about how can I give back to the ecosystem that's helped me so much and that's really what this is all about so happy to be sharing what I know in my journey and my perspectives on things here if you like the idea of the channel and want to follow along please click the bell, subscribe. Links to everything I mentioned will be in the description below. And I will be back soon. And this is a good lesson, I think, for content creators in general. Don't promise something you can't keep up with, right? So if I promise, hey, every Monday morning at eight o'clock, you're gonna get a new video, that's just not where I am right now. <laughs> so I, I want to do a lot of this and I will be doing more of it. I will be here as often as I can, but I'm not gonna be sticking to any fixed schedule. Uh, I think that's a good lesson everybody is either set a schedule you 100% know you can hit, or don't have a schedule um, and do it as often as you can. I think either of those are okay, but what you don't want to do is have a schedule that you can't meet because then you let your listeners down or your viewers. And I don't want to do that because we're just getting started. And I hope that you are along for the ride as we go along here. Uh, so that's it for now. Thank you so much for checking this out and we'll see you soon.